Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and I've got Leap Money for the final chapter of Let's Play Arcana! Yeah, that's just totally a pure coincidence, viewers. I did not set that up. But, uh, since last time I restocked on cards, got tons of Null cards and Fog cards, Elemental cards aren't really useful anymore, and the only thing I've bought for new equipment is a Magic Gauntlet for Tifa, because we're gonna find new stuff for her in the very near future anyway. Uh, the Magic Gauntlet casts Wall all, so I don't need uh, Deo to cast it anymore. So that's pretty nice. I also didn't buy any new equipment for Rooks or Darwin, because we're going to be finding some new stuff in Bintel Castle anyway, for the final dungeon. So, Well, yeah, we kind of already knew that. Oh, yeah, probably. They said they already uh, fixed, the, or already got it going, so... It's a secret to everybody! Or dead. I thought he was dead. Oh, well, I'm sure that's not true. Hmm, maybe that's just weak monsters. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Oh, yeah. Uh, you notice Rooks' HP is a lot higher. I spent all my extra money on Restore Honeys for him. He really needs a lot of HP. Specifically Rooks. And you will see why, viewers. But anyway, let's head to my favorite area in the game. Yeah, I love the music here. So ominous. Sounds like uh, Final Dungeon music. I love it. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to go that way. Let's try that again. There we go. Ah, for some reason they put me looking forward. Okay, we got, uh, well, I think we could have met up with them before, but we got new enemies here. Uh, well, wizards we couldn't have met up with before. But the other new enemy is the green dragon in the back there. So you got to be careful for them. If you've gotten Sylph up to level, I think it's 31 or something like that. Or maybe it's in the high 20s. I forget the exact. Oh yeah, Tifa doesn't have a weapon. Right. Nuts. This is going to hurt. But uh, yeah, if you've got... You know what? Let's use one of those Null cards. Uh, most of the spirits, except for the Water Spirit, learn some sort of instant death ability. If you've gotten that for your Wind Spirit... That can be pretty effective against green dragons, so you may want to consider that. Uh, Tifa, actually, you know what? Why not just use your uh, defense gauntlet? We will find a new weapon and armor for her in the very near future. That's why I didn't buy anything for her, because I figure, hey, we're going to find it soon enough anyway. Why waste the money? Besides, Rooks needs all the HP that he can get. So, yeah, spirits are not going to be too useful now. Maybe I should bring in... Uh, yeah, let's bring in self there and use change attributes. Now, when we do find some ultimate weapons, I may or may not decide to switch to them because I think the Dragon Blade deals more damage to, well, dragons. And we're going to run into a lot of dragons. This is probably the best place in the game to uh, level grind. Let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't have it yet, so. Oh, well. Hey, all right. Good shot there, Rooks. That's about as much damage as you're going to deal in this game. Oh, uh, I like keeping that Freed out. Yeah, Freed has that high, uh, what's that? Alertness status or whatever. I think it helps pre prevent uh, getting ambushed, but I could be totally wrong on that. I could just be talking out of my ass again. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's change attributes to win. That'll help us out. Maybe even bring in Merit for some healing. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Rooks. Rooks! Uh, yeah, don't forget, if anyone dies, it's game over. So, uh... Yeah, let's use an old card. I'm gonna be making multiple trips through this dungeon. Yeah, alright! Hey, hey! I've, I've rarely seen it work that quite that effectively. Well, there you go. Yeah, why don't you... Uh, oh, you've got heal too. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Tifa, if you get her up to, I think, level 40. I don't remember the exact spe level when everyone learns their spells. But if you get her up to, like I think, somewhere like level 40, she can learn attribute 11, which is the most powerful one. And we got more new enemies here. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to use null cards. Yeah, we need merit out for some healing so whenever you run into like a large group of say three or more non-elemental enemies that's when i like to use the 
null cards. That really helps out a lot. Wow, it's taken me a long time just to get my first ultimate equipment. These dungeons are not very long, by the way. I mean, well, I mean, you gotta go... We're sneaking through the... Okay, I'll just tell you. They told us. We have to go through the castle in order to get to the Stavery Tower this time around. And the Stavery Tower itself will be different, too. So, don't worry about that. But, uh, yeah. So, we gotta sneak through here. Go through a secret passage. And then we'll get to the Stavery Tower. Most of it is fairly straightforward. Yeah, I... I Really need a weapon for Tifa, and I need to get to Darwin or Rook's turn. How long has it been since I had a turn? Wow. Yeah, turns are a little random in this game. Kind of like Lufia, the, the first one. Oh, not again. Yeah, probably not a good idea to keep the water spirit out against Earth. How water is weak against Earth, I don't know. You got me on that one, viewers. There we go. That ought to help a little. I guess Rooks is still uh, immune to that Earth elemental stuff, or, well, strong against it, with whatever armor he has, so that helps. You can meet up with almost any kind of dragon here. Green dragons, blue dragons, red dragons. I think the, uh, what is it? The wind elemental one is called a cloud dragon, for some reason. Seems a little odd to me, but there you go. Go Sylph! Yeah, their damage output... Not so good anymore. Oh well. But anyway. Alright, and here we get the Yesseree, or Desseree Blade. Yesseree. Well, anyway, uh, I want to give that to Darwin there. It's his ultimate weapon in the game. Wow! Look at that attack power! Holy cow. Okay, you know what? I don't want to walk back. And since that's really close to the entrance, let's just cast home. And, uh, we'll try that one again. Just a moment, viewers. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Let's try that one again, guys. Yeah, you can just press the A button just to enter the dungeon there. Nothing in that left room there. Nice to know they've rolled out the red carpet for us. I think that's most of the new enemies now, except for, like, some, uh, what, some other dragons or something. Okay, let's see. Oops, wrong way. Nothing in that one there. Ah, I guess the game's deciding to take it easy on me now. It's nice and refreshing. Thanks, game. I love this part of the music. I'm surprised you guys are going to get to hear it, but, well, now you can. All right. Uh, such amazing music in this game. It makes the game. But anyway, here we get Tifa's ultimate weapon, the Spirit Staff. Uh, let's see, I believe that casts Lightning 2 if you use it in battle, so that could be alright. Uh, you know what? Let's cast Home again. Home again, home again. Let's see, one more piece of ultimate equipment, and then we should be good to go. Or at least that's all we can find in the castle, that is. We want to get some armor for Tifa, too. Ah, I just can't get over the music in this game. <laughs> Let's see, go down here. Ignore all those paths to the left there. They lead to dead ends. Wow, the game's really making it easy for me to edit this episode. All right. And here we get the Robe of Valor, the ultimate armor in the game for Tifa there. All right. Put that on her. All right, now she has some, well, decent defense. Not as good as the guys, but, oh, well, it's better than Darwin, I guess. Well, apparently, I'm not running into random battles anymore. I'll just, uh, head on straight through to the end now. Let's see, yeah, that's all the, uh, stuff that you can get in here, so. There's a whole bunch of other paths and dead ends. I guess that's what makes the game actually have some amount of depth, because if you don't have a map, this game is, like, two or three times as long. So. Okay, here we got another new enemy. Cloud Dragons. Nuts. These guys, if I recall correctly, give the most experience per enemy than any other enemy in the game. So, 
Uh, yeah, this would probably be a very good room to uh, do your level grinding if you really want to. If you're new to the game, that would be fairly helpful. And I do need to do some healing, so... Hmm, Desiree seems to be doing pretty good. I would think that the uh, Dragon Blade would deal more damage to them, but, uh... Well, I guess we're doing pretty good on our own. I guess the attack power outweighs any benefit of dealing more damage. Alright, go Darwin! Cut its head off! And we gain another level! Alright. Ooh! Yeah, unfortunately, any excess experience over what you needed to gain a level... Uh, kind of goes away. So, yeah, that's kind of a downer. And no new spells I really care about. Okay, let me, uh, heal up after that one, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Huh? Who are you? What do you mean, what is it? Shouldn't it be, who are you? Or, ah, uh, I suppose, what is it? What do you want? Ah, another one of his apprentice apprentices. He has a lot of apprentices, huh? Kind of odd that he would have an apprentice who looks older than him, but, uh, what do you mean? Oh. Yeah, he did kind of stab him in the back. With lightning bolts. Oh. Well, do the best I can. For boss time! Ha <laughs> ha, it's a trap. Okay, let's take him down. First things first, stomp all. And I don't need Deo now, because I have Tifa, who can cast Wall All, so that's pretty nuts. Obviously, Instant Death won't work on him, so... Uh, let's see. I may want to use... Well, first things first, let's go with, uh, Magic Gun there. I still don't get the Annihilated thing. Does someone... Can someone translate that from the original Japanese to see why it was translated that way? Because that doesn't make sense to me. But, anyway... Uh, let's go with, uh, yeah, let's go with Attack and Pair, because I don't think he uses any magic spells. And even if it did, he did, it wouldn't be very good. I'm going to keep a freed out, just in case we need some healing eventually. Eh, you never know. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can use it. Alright! See, so maybe get a Defense and Pair, and then we should be in pretty good shape. I don't know if Attack and Pair or Defense and Pair really help that much. But I like to, if it doesn't, I like to pretend it does. Yeah, this is a pretty easy boss fight. Yeah, your levels really don't matter. I think the game probably expects you to be at like level 40 by now. Uh, I will explain why. But uh, for right now, yeah, why don't you just keep defending there, Afrit? Just uh, puff out your chest at the guy. Make, make yourself feel more important than you actually are. All right, got him. And for defeating him, we get the Crystal Sword! But how useful will that be against the power of Galia? Find out next time on Let's Play Arcana! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day! Oh, and you know what? We can equip that on Rooks. That'd be a good idea. Wow! Look at that attack power! Yeah, that's good.